السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Let me start uh, with the introduce myself. My name is Walid Kaad Muhammad. I am lecturer at the University of Ambar College of Dentistry. I have got my master and PhD degree in molecular biology. Uh, already, this is the second uh, lecture actually. The first lecture was just intro introduction of the biology, was the name of biology, and the branch of the biology, uh, branch of the uh, biology, how many we have a lot, or you have taken that in the first lecture. If you don't have any idea about that, you can uh, go back to the first lecture because this is the second lecture. Actually, this lecture focused on the structure and function of the micromolecules. In the first lecture, we have taken the level of the organization and we have mentioned that. Um, the microorganism consists of the atoms, and the, this is atoms will connect to each other to form the molecules. And then this is molecules will connect to each other to form the micromolecules. Now we have to now, after this is, uh, to have to answer this question after first after finish this is lecture. What are the or, uh, what are the micromolecules? Actually, we have four types of the micromolecules, uh, and the micromolecules are the polymer, polymers, or the monomer. Monomer that means single, poly that means more than one, di or poly. Uh, monomer subunit linked together, linked together by covalent bond via the dehydration reaction. That means after every single reaction, it has to. Uh, take off the uh, one molecule of water, uh, H2O. Some of references actually talking about we have just a three major type of the micromolecules and some of them talking about four. Now we are going to mix between them. I am going to talk about the three and the other one will be the last one. The first one is the proteins. Proteins composed of amino acid link together by peptide bonds and the second one is nucleic acid the nucleic acid composed of nucleotide uh, RNA or DNA link it together by phosphodiester bond phosphodiester bond all these link all these bond is the covalent bond the third is polysaccharide Polysaccharides that's mean uh, composed of mo monosaccharides, sugar, linked by the uh, glycoside bond, glycoside bond. This is some of reference talking about just the three, and the others talking about the phospholipid or fatty acid or lipid. Phospholipid, the fourth major chemical building block. Uh, assumable no equivalent into the biomembranes. This is the difference between the three links. All the protein, nucleic acid, and polysaccharide linked together by covalent bond, and the phospholipid or the fatty acid linked between them by the non equivalently uh, uh, linked. Now, let me start. How can I link monomer to each other? For example, here we have. Monomer in amino acid, the, the smallest unit in the protein is called amino acid, were linked to each other. Actually, the structure of the amino acid we have see here. We have the carbon number one here, and we have amino group and H2, and we have H, H group, and carboxy group as well, COH. Here is called our chain. This is, will be um, changeable. That's mean, for example, here. We have 20 types of the 20 type of the amino acid. That means every single amino acid has to has the different uh, group here to form some amino acid. To form 20 20 amino acid. We can see here in general. For example, here when interact to each other, we we can see here red square here OH hydroxyl group and hydrogen group. When interact to each other, the the the, hydro, the 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 water will take off from this interaction. This is called dehydration reaction. 
dehydration reaction and this after interaction will call polymers polymers and polymers will give us the proteins the same things with the nucleotide the nucleotide this is called a peptide bond the interaction between an amino acid or protein called a peptide bond and the nucleic acid actually here we have hydroxy group here and hydrogen group here this is in 5 prime and this is 3 prime when interact to each other using the uh, phosphodiester bond here phosphodiester bond will give us the nucleic acid will give us the nucleic acid as well as this is dehydration uh, reaction because the hydrogen molecules will take off from this reaction the same situation as well with the monosaccharide or the sugar we can see here this is a glucose for interact with the glucose using the glycoside bond this is polysaccharide dehydrogen reaction this is will give us chain of the uh, glucose the fourth one will be here all these reactions as I mentioned before all these reaction will be will be um, dehydration and as well as coagulant bonds that mean the peptide bonds and phosphodiester bond and the glycoside bond is the coagulant bond but here the interaction between the polar or hydrophilic this is the headed, headed group and the hydrophobic the hydrophobic this is will like the uh, water while the hydrophilic this is like the water we can see here in this head we have two types of the uh, group the first group is the phosphate and the second group is the glycerol and uh, the tail consists of two types of the fatty acid one of them non saturated and the other one is saturated these just example for the uh, lipid now why the polymers is quite important why the for example the protein is quite important why the sugar why the lipid protein nucleic acid is quite important for the uh, organisms either uh, human animal plants uh, back, uh, microorganisms was quite important because there is important job to do by these molecules for example storing information we can use for example dna to store for uh, information as well as catalyze chemical reaction as i mentioned in lecture one we have a, 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 a catabolism and anabolism and metabolism all these reaction uh, can do it by the proteins or lipid or um, or uh, carbohydrates or others as well as maybe I gave uh, structural elements that define cell shape and movements and many others metabolism I mentioned metabolism as well now let me start with the uh, uh, with the carbohydrate what's the main carbohydrate the, stru uh, the chemical structure of carbohydrate for example the carbohydrate is the biomolecules consist of the first one carbon the second one hydrogen the third one is oxygen atoms in, 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 in general, actually, there is some of the expectation used usually with the hydrogen oxygen atom ratio of 2 to 1, like, hydro, like water exactly. And this with the uh, empirical formula, this is formula of the uh, carbohydrates. Uh, we can see here carbon with the M H2O by N. We can see here where m may be different from n is different m and from. but in general in general we can see here the formula how the truth of for the monosaccharide some expected uh, uh, exception exact for example i mean this is not formula for the whole uh, monosaccharide or for the whole polysaccharide but there's some of the exception for example here uh, disaccharides already we have uh, it's like for example has to be here h2o5 according to the formula of the water but here we have some of the different in structure for the deoxyribose deoxyribose is quite important for the dna now the monosaccharide actually what's the meaning of the monosaccharide the monosaccharide this is the smallest units 
to form the sugar or carbohydrate. For example, the glucose, ribose, deoxyribose, all these are monomers. Monosaccharide are the simplest carbohydrates and that they cannot be hydrolyzed to the smaller carbohydrates. Cannot. As well as the monosaccharide are important fuel molecules as well as building uh, blocks for the nucleic acid because we have uh, bentos, uh, deoxyribose and as well for DNA and uh, um, ribose in RNA. The smallest monosaccharide, the smallest monosaccharide uh, for which N3, for example, <coughs> sorry, for example, uh, dihydroxyacetone and D and L glyceraldehyde. The structure of glucose is quite important. Here we, ca we can see here we have six atom of the carbon and we, ca we have carbon, we have oxygen group and hydrogen group and, uh, and uh, hydroxide group here and H group here and as well as we can see this is the structure of the glucose glucose uh, glucose uh, so important for our body because the give us the energy for ATP during the cell uh, respiration in nearly all type of the organisms the glucose transport to the cell by the uh, by the insulin by 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 bloodstream in our body but in a plant and bacteria may be different not maybe different uh, definitely will be different ribose and deoxyribose are significant why because they are found respectively in the nucleic acid RNA and the DNA as we know the DNA has the genetic code for uh, metabolism for that how can I build the protein how can I put carbohydrate how can I all this information has to take from the DNA before go to the to the cytoplasm to translate it to the protein carbohydrate or lipid or etc. We can see here ribose, five uh, five uh, five atom of the carbon. We can ribose, and here we can see the oxyribose because we lack of the uh, oxygen uh, oxygen atom here in group number two or atom uh, carbon number two. Now, what's the meaning of the disaccharide? The disaccharide was joined two monosaccharides to each other, like sucrose, lactose. Lactose found in milk. When you, uh, for example, when you drink the milk, we have lactose, a lot of lactose in milk, and milk consists of the uh, two joint monosaccharide called disaccharide, and these are the smallest polysaccharide, and we, s we can see here the calactose and the glucose will compose the lactose, while the uh, sucrose, for example, this is sugar when you eat it, when you put it in the tea and dissolve, this is composed of glucose and fructose, and when integrated, this is will be will give you the glucose and the uh, fructose, sorry, and the glucose. Actually, all these, all these. Uh, uh, monosaccharide or disaccharide uh, all these things will take it from the glands because we cannot uh, produce I cannot synthesize the sugar in our body all these will take it from other source by the for example in, in plant photosynthesis and bacteria maybe can use it plasti plasti that to uh, to uh, to build the glucose or fructose or other uh, sugars in general the formula of uh, disaccharide is we can see here C12 H22O11 okay that means that this is the formula of the disaccharide now we can see here how can calactose and the glucose interact to each other to give us a lactose as we know this uh, link or this bond called uh, calactosides calactosides we use to link to each other we can see here we have differentiation between the uh, between them and this is beta and this is alpha both of them uh, if you can see to the structure of the glucose and the collectors the same but the difference between the just direction of the 
uh, hydroxyl group OH sorry uh, OH group this is we can see alpha and this is beta when interact to each other with dehydration reaction will give us the sucrose here and the lactose here the polysaccharide will be different because we'll join the most of the monomolecules to each other using the more than two molecules <coughs> for example glycogen is a glycogen found in the animal and in the human as well uh, cellulose mm, are the polymer uh, all of glycogen or cellulose, cellulose in the plant and glycogen in human consists of just a glucose linked to each other glucose branch, branch uh, molecules or very long uh, molecules the different type of the chemical bond starch as well we have in the plants and glycogen in animal are used to store energy that's me used to store the energy as I mentioned before the glucose is quite important for our body to use it as the energy an insect actually we have uh, chitin this is used for the to build the shield and the, the skeletal for the insect and the fungi as well we have taken the first one site uh, carbohydrates the second one is the proteins the protein proteins are quite important in our body why because the protein organic molecules using for the for example to build hormones enzyme uh, and others as well for example how can I use the protein in the cell membrane how can I transport some of the elements and molecules through the cell membrane the proteins may be structural or maybe regulatory or maybe as well as a protective to protect the animal or protect the, or the human beings I mean, maybe uh, serve in the transport, we can use it in the transport, in storage, some of the energy, or in cell membrane. Or maybe some of the protein will be toxic, very toxic, like the protein that's secreted by snakes. When you bite from the snakes, this will be very, very, very harmful and very dangerous when you go to the bloodstream, and this will cause some of the, uh, maybe lead to the die. In general, we have uh, 20 different chemically distinct amino acid to consist of the polypeptide or uh, proteins. And the amino acid can be in, uh, in any order to give you a lot of the type of the proteins. For example, proteins can function and enzyme or hormone. All these will be joined to each other to give you either, for example, protect, uh, either support protein or function protein functional protein or enzyme or more on others now uh, in general the amino acids as i mentioned before consist of the hydrogen group carboxy group and h and r group as well you can see here this is a carbon group and this is amino group r chain hydroxy group and uh, h1 uh, and uh, hydrogen group interact to each other the hydration will give you the body chain for example the hormone are chemical signal molecules usually protein or steroids maybe secreted by the endocrine gland or uh, group of the endocrine cell that act to control or regulatory specific physiology process that means why the protein is quite important or uh, so important including growth development metabolism and the protection for example insulin is the protein hormone that maintains blood uh, glucose level if you lose the, uh, the insulin either by diabetic number one or diabetic number two this is will lead to the serious disease this is called diabetic mellitus if you lose the for example hormone uh, insulin hormone this is will lead to the diabetic mellitus in general we have function of a protein in human are for example metabolism mentioned that before support like nails like hair like uh, 
uh, skin for example as well keratin make up hair on the nails and as well as the transport some of the some of the uh, protein uh, using the as the car when to transport the uh, protein uh, or for example uh, ions from outside the cell to inside the cell uh, the supporters in the plasma membrane as well as uh, other protein transport molecules in the blood hemoglobin uh, carry out the oxygen to the tissue and the, to the uh, cells as well. The veins in our body we have a lot of protein act, the, act as the defense. For example, antibiotic. The antibiotic is the proteins act to uh, to destroy it or to fight or to attack the virus to the sorry to the bacteria or to the any form body inside our body. So the act as the uh, depends as well. Nucleic acid. The nucleic acid actually is quite important because uh, all information we need to trans translation to tr to trans sorry to trans the uh, uh, to for example to lipid to the protein to the uh, to the nucleic acid itself as well found in the DNA found in the nucleic acid. As well as without RNA, I cannot translate the translate the the, the information in in the nucleic acid to the uh, to the to the lipid to the protein to the carbohydrate to the other micromolecules. That means the nucleic acid store all information we need for the catabolism, anabolism, and metabolism in our body. DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. Is one of the type of the uh, nucleic acid that not only store information but how to copy as well, how to copy or replicate itself, but also specific to the order in the which amino acid are to be joined to make the protein. The job for this to the RNA. RNA, ribonucleic acid, is the another diverse type of the nucleic acid that has multiple uses. Actually, we have. Uh, a lot of the types of the messenger RNA. For example, the first one, this is the very copy of the gene in the DNA that is specific what the amino acid sequencing will be during the process of a protein synthesis. Transferred RNA is also necessary in synthesizing the protein and help to translate the sequencing of the nucleic acid in the gene into the correct sequencing of amino acid and polypeptide during the protein synthesis. The ribosomal RNA, ribosomal RNA, uh, RNA uh, is work, uh, it, uh, it works as the enzyme to form uh, the peptide bond between the amino acid and the polypeptide. Can you see? The RNA is quite important in ribosomal how to join the uh, amino, uh, amino acid to each other to build the polypeptide and then amino acid. As we as we now, when after the join to each other molecule, uh, um, water molecules will uh, will lead this reaction and this reaction called dehydration reaction. The chemical structure of the DNA RNA is the you can see here phosphate group and see here uh, deoxyribose uh, ribose uh, in uh, sugar and nitrogen base. This is the structure of the nucleic uh, acid. Here, as we know, we have two types of the bond. We have chemical bond and the physical bond. Chemical bond like co coagulant bond and the ionic bond. But here, how can the two strands of the DNA interact to each other actually using the hydrogen bond? The hydrogen bond, as we know, between the hydrogen and other atoms. <coughs> so, the, the, the links between them is chemical, is not, uh, sorry, it's, it's physical, is not chemical. It's physical, hydrogen mode is physical interaction, not chemical interaction. We can see how adenine here and thymine interact to each other using two, uh, two hydrogen bonds, and we can see here between the 
guanine and cytosine using the three type of the hydrogen bond to interact to, interact to each other how can join to each other using the guanine and cytosine the fourth one is the lipids the lipids is uh, too important actually without lipids we can't leave fat and oil is used to is, uh, is used by the animal human as well for the both uh, insulation and long term energy store in this energy store for the lipid it contains two types of subunit molecules fatty acid and the glycerol fatty acid and the glycerol in fatty acid we have two types of saturated and unsaturated um, uh, molecules for example saturated fats and unsaturated oil like olives <coughs> And phospholipid as we have phospholipid as well for example this is an example of the fatty uh, and the lipid phospholipid phospholipid, phospholipid found in the cell membrane that surround the cell consists of the uh, phospholipid bilayer not just one bilayer next lecture we'll take it how ca how can uh, uh, chemical structure and structure of the cells mm, uh, cell membrane because the head of each molecule is hydrophilic or you have taken this information we have two types with the uh, we have hydrophilic and hydrophobic um, uh, region the phospholipid bilayer is key compound used to keep cell and the biological compartments within cell separated cell separated okay the plasma membrane is absolutely essential to its structure and function of the cell and this uh, uh, sign uh, pieces and the important to the phospholipid to living things actually the phospholipid is not just the structure and function of microorgan uh, for the for the cell but as well as to transport and to support and to as well as like fingerprint for example we have markers on this on the cell membrane help the other micro help the other cell to uh, to identify the cell is uh, belong to the our body or maybe no maybe we'll all this information will take it in next lecture yeah actually you can see here uh, this is already I have uh, it's, you are familiar with this image because already you have shown uh, this uh, this image we have polar group phosphate group this is polar group and phosphate group we have and the glycerol group interact with the unsaturated and saturated fatty acid this is uh, a piece of the cell membrane a piece of cell membrane we can see phospholipid bilayer we can see as well steroid a steroid um, for example cholesterol is essential component of the animal cell plasma membrane we can see the steroid or cholesterol more specific cholesterol we can see we can see cholesterol inside the cell membrane actually this is will provide rigidity and as well as physical stability for the cell membrane and as well as the cholesterol uh, will give us several jobs like uh, we can find cholesterol in sex hormone either in testosterone and testosterone in testis in uh, male and in female sex hormone in estrogen in, estrogen in ovaries the last thing in the levels we can see boxes boxes this is we can see in our ear when you after take half a shower and you need to to clean your uh, your ears after that we can see this is yellowish material actually this yellowish material consists of cholesterol and uh, uh, consists of the fatty acid and others actually this is quite important because this is we can stop the some of insects to enter the our body and sometimes maybe kill it like ants sometimes we can for example we can see some ants in the first especially in the child we can see killed because this is very toxic uh, very toxic and uh, act as the traps for the dust on the insect at the same time this material as well as to prevent any contamination with the uh, middle uh, with the, for example some of the bacteria or some of fungi is always stop them because very important 
uh, for uh, to prevent an infection or inflammation in our in our uh, inside our uh, ear. Thank you for your listening. Uh, any question? I will be happy to answer any question if you leave it in the comments. Uh, and thank you again. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi taala wa barakatuh. قبل المونتاج. اه لا قبل المونتاج. اه لا لا. وصلت؟ <تصفيق>